Hello and welcome. My name is Elizabeth. I'm a librarian at the San Jose Public Library, and today we're going to be making a vehicle that rolls on square wheels. This activity is based on exhibits at museums like the National Museum of Mathematics and the Exploratorium, as well as on the Exploratorium's Science Snack Square Wheels. See the description box below for references, more links, and further activities. For today's activity, you'll need tubes of some sort. They can be toilet paper, paper towel, or wrapping paper, but you will need quite a few of them, 10 to 12 at least. You'll also need paper clips or a hot glue gun to attach your tubes together. For the vehicle, you'll need cardboard to serve as the body of the vehicle, as well as card stock for the wheels of the vehicle. Finally, you'll need something to act as the axle. I'm using straws with skewers. You'll also need tools, scissors, tape, a ruler and something to mark with. And finally, optionally, you can have some string to pull your vehicle with. Once you've assembled your materials, we can start putting together the road. To make our road, we're going to take our tubes and attach them together. I'm using paper clips because I may want to reuse these tubes for another activity in the future. However, you can also use the hot glue gun to glue the tubes either to each other or to another surface like a piece of poster board. So why are we making our road so very bumpy? Well, a square wheeled vehicle wouldn't get very far on a flat road. We use circular wheels for that. But for our square wheels, this bumpy road will be just perfect. Once you've made your road, it's time to measure and cut the body of your vehicle. I want to leave room for the wheels on either side, so I'm going to make the body fairly narrow so that it doesn't run over the edges of my tubes. And then I want my vehicle to be long enough that I have two tubes distance between the axles of my vehicle, which means it has to be about three tubes long. Once I've measured my vehicle body, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Now that I have my vehicle body, I'm going to go ahead and mark where I'm going to put the axles. Remember, I want to have the axles two tubes apart. So I'm just going to use the tubes here to measure where I want my axles to go with this pencil. I want to have them two tubes apart because if they were only one tube apart, the wheels would run into each other. Two tubes works well, but you can always make your vehicle longer if you want. Now I'm going to take my straw and cut it to the width of the vehicle body. So I'm just going to measure and cut for both ends of the vehicle. And then I'm going to tape my two tubes into place. Now that the body of my vehicle is finished, it's time to work on the wheels. I'm going to take the diameter of a few of the tubes just to make sure that they're all about the same size. Once I have the diameter, I can multiply it by 1.2 to get the sides of my square wheels. If you're using toilet paper tubes like I am, you can make square wheels that are two inches square. I'm just going to measure them out on my cardstock here and then go ahead and cut them out. Once I have the wheels cut out, I'm going to take my ruler and make an X in the middle of them so that I can find the exact center of the wheel. I want to have the exact center of the wheel so that they will rotate very evenly. Once I've found the center of the wheel for all of my square wheels, I'm going to unfold a paper clip and puncture a hole in the middle of them. I'm going to do this before I attach them to the axle, and that way they won't tear when I put the axle through the wheels. Now that we have all of our parts, we're ready to assemble our vehicle. First, I'll take the body of the vehicle, and then one of the skewers that's acting as an axle, and one of the wheels. I slide the wheel onto the skewer very carefully, being careful not to tear it more than as absolutely necessary, then slide it through the straw, and add the other wheel on the other side. I then do the same thing for the other axle and the other two wheels.
Afterwards, I space the wheels out to make sure that they're not going to brush against the body of the vehicle. And now we're ready to roll. Watch how the square wheels roll into the spaces in between the tubes and glide along and keep the body of the vehicle nice and level. You can even add a paper clip with a string and a little friend to pull them along. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed today's program, please fill out the program survey in the description box below. And no matter the shape of your wheels, keep on rolling.